everyone, my name is Taylor Johnson. My name is Rick Sonia Hamilton. My name is Dr. Jamie Russell, the senior pastor at Nehemiah Community Church. I'm a member of Nehemiah Community Church. I'm a member at Nehemiah Community Church. Why did I want to go to Puerto Rico? You know, of course, I, I realized that there was great damage that occurred uh, due to Hurricane Irma. And so there was an opportunity through Lot Carey, which is uh, the largest African American mission organization in the country. And so I hooked up with that organization and they opened up some doors to where we could go to Puerto Rico and serve. And so we wanted to go, of course, to, to serve the people, uh, to give a helping hand, but most of all, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. My expectations for Puerto Rico weren't um, as big as I thought because I was going based on the news at that time, the hurricane that happened, and just the stories that were out. So I knew it was a disaster, but I didn't know like the full impact, especially because you're not there, so you're not seeing the people, what they're going through like firsthand in person. That was something that I wasn't expecting at first. And so, um, yeah, I, w I was just expecting to, um, Come help work, serve, and just be a helping hand to people. Um, I remember the first year we went, it was one man's home. Um, I think he was living, I couldn't really remember, but he was living in one portion of the house, which was outside, and it was just really devastating. Like the, the house was pretty much destroyed and I think he was living under, I don't know how to describe it. Not even a shed. It was like a, like a tarp. Like a tarp and it was just a tarp and that's where he was sleeping. Uh, the devastation was, was in depth. I know we went to a few houses where some people didn't have roofs. Um, so that people couldn't get help because uh, even though they lived there for 40 years, uh, they didn't have the paperwork in their name. And so when FEMA came in, they weren't able to uh, give them any money to fix roof or do the structures around the houses. But, um, you know, the first year we went, it was it was extensive. Then, of course, you know, the second year we went, uh, we could see a lot of progress take place. And so this would be our third year going um, to help. Now that they had an earthquake, I'm pretty sure there's some additional damage um, that we'll have to fix. Puerto Rico, it was beautiful. We had got a chance to go to the beach and we got to go out, have fun with each other, you know, play in the sand. That was my first time at a beach, okay? I ain't never been to a beach. That was fun. No, that was my first time at a beach. Other than, okay, Galveston is nasty. <laughs> that was a beautiful beach, okay? The city is very beautiful. I love the mountains. I love the beaches. I love the water. Uh, the people of Puerto Rico are so generous and kind. Uh, just love the atmosphere. Just riding through the mountains, the way the streets are made, they're very narrow. Uh, it was just a great experience. Of course, you can't describe the sightseeing, you know, experience, uh, but with one word, it was beautiful. Uh, one of the things I really enjoyed was the way they painted their houses. Most of their houses are very vibrant in color. I mean, they're all made out of brick, but as you would just kind of go down, you have a bright orange, bright yellow, a bright turquoise home. Um, so that just kind of uh, right on the shoreline, getting over to overlook the, uh, the Caribbean Sea. I mean, it was just awesome. So, I mean, 
the things that we saw, I mean, we went to, you know, of course, the old San Juan, um, that's the tourist site. So as we were there, uh, everything that we wanted or everything we needed was right there at our disposal. But uh, I, I just enjoy the culture of the people. One of the things that we definitely realized is that people take pride in their country and they were so thankful for us helping them. I can remember one time we, uh, we needed somewhere to wash our clothes and so uh, we were directed to go to a laundromat. But once we got there, uh, we realized that um, it had it hadn't even had its grand opening yet and so um, just by chance the owners were there and we had a chance to talk with them and they opened up their facilities before the grand opening allow us to come in and wash our clothes while we're washing our clothes they go out and uh, they get us some traditional food they get us some chocolate cake and all in the name of this being grateful and so I mean when they did that I was like man you know uh, I, it just makes you want to continue to serve. The first year we went, we did a lot of, um, we did a lot of work at the church. So we did a lot of yard work. We were outside a lot. We did a lot of raking leaves, um, cutting down trees, mowing the lawn. Um, I got a chance to like mop and get a chance to fellowship a little bit with Erica. Um, I got a chance to, my first time using a weed whacker. Very fun. We went to an orphanage where, you know, it was all young man's orphanage, maybe about 20, 30 young men, um, ranging from the ages of maybe four through 16. And so we went there, we put on a vacation Bible school, just a one day opportunity to, to talk to these young people. So what did Christ show you about yourself when it came to your service? Or, um, or just in general? I would say I learned a lot, especially the first year I learned how selfish I am because I'm always either I'm around people but when I think when you're serving and on your mission trips you're around people more and I realized how selfish I am and how much I think uh, think about myself now one of the things I learned about myself I can do more than I think sometimes you know as I thought about um, carrying the load and, and kind of um, being out in the hot sun, sweating, getting tired, you know, I had to constantly ask myself, you know, who am I working for? And of course I serve the Lord and I'm serving these people who have uh, been impacted by this great storm. And so uh, I realized that, you know, we can do more than we think when we understand who we serve. What I learned when I was on the trip was um, you have to be thankful and appreciative of the things that you do have because um, not everybody has those things or some people are going through a, things a lot worse than what you're going through at that moment. So I learned to just to have humility and kind of just chill out a little bit while I was on that trip as far as the things that I'm worried about or the things that I'm going through and kind of look at somebody else's experience and how they're handling it. And so, again, it was a blessing to, to be the hands and feet of the Lord. You know, just that time of reflection helps us understand that uh, what we do is not in vain. And God is to get all the glory and all the honor in the work in which we do.